Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from CyberLab and today I will show how can install CyberPanel in your Ubuntu server. This installation can be done in a VPS as Oracle Cloud or you can do local in a virtual machine or either in a computer that you have in your house running Ubuntu. Not necessarily Ubuntu, but uh, it's better in my opinion to run Ubuntu, but you have other options of US that you can install. You're gonna ask me, Alan, why you want to show me how can I install CyberPanel? And it's simple. CyberPanel is an option for you to configure or manage your web hosting. When I show some time ago how you can use the cPanel to manage your website, and normally a hosting offer this uh, system for you, some people start to ask me, Alan, how can I install cPanel in my system? But cPanel is a pay option that uh, have the same functionality as CyberPanel, or CyberPanel have the same functionality as cPanel. In this way, I decided to show this application because basically it's free. You're not gonna pay anything to have this web hosting panel in your server or in your computer. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider it to subscribe for the channel, and Let's see how can I do it. So before I go to the steps for the installation, we're gonna come in the website for CyberPanel and say a little bit more about uh, what they can do for us. They have uh, different options that you can have. In our case, we're gonna install the Lightspeed entry, not the enterprise, but the Lightspeed for open source. You always can have the cloud option or the enterprise option, but this one will cost a little bit more. If we go down, you have the CyberPanel cloud, not what we're gonna use, but you can use the same idea. You can create some cache, you can have some management for it or some library. You have some security mods, one click SSL certification and out install your WordPress. If we go more down, they have some testimony that I'm not interested to see, but I want to show the partners. They work with cyber hosting, what the server, host gear, and hosting. So if I come here in pricing and cyber panel pricing, they show different options. In our case, we're gonna install the cyber panel plus the open light speed. So it's totally free for any quantity of service that you have. So you have unlimited domains, unlimited subdomains, unlimited uh, uh, database, multi PHP, Let's Encrypt SSL, WordPress, community support, and others. You can come here and go start, and they go directly for the cloud. We don't want to do it. We want to do the normal installation. And that I come here and they have the documentation how to do the installation. So, as I told, you can install Ubuntu Server, but you also can install Centrum and Alma Linux 8. For pre-exit, you need to have the Python 3.x or any version, at least 3 or plus. You need to have at least 1 gigabyte of run memory, and you need to have at least 10 gigabytes of space in your hard drive. They will have the installation, they will use almost 10 gigabytes, but you need to consider that uh, you're gonna use a little bit for your hosting, your applications, so you need to have a little bit more. If you use this option for open license speed, you can have unlimited numbers of domains, workers and process and everything. If you go for enterprise, you're gonna pay a fee, but in our case, we're gonna go for the free option. If I go down, they explain all the steps that you need to do in order to get installation. So I will not uh, read all for you because I will show you step by step, it's easy, then I only go to these ones and read. So I will put here my page in the side and I have already my machine open. This one is working as a virtual machine only because I want to do this installation after this one, erase the system and it will be done. So what I need to do, I need to discover my IP address so I will log in with my machine. In this case, I have 39.8% uh, uh, of my capacity used. I hope that's enough. I think that will be. So my IP address will be this one, 192.168.1.110. I have two options. I can tape everything here, but uh, it's better to use the put because I can copy from the other page and come here. So don't worry. 
the link from this installation or the steps that you need to do will be in the description so we don't need to tape you can only copy in down in the description and that paste in your putty to be easy to install so let's open our putty and enter in this machine so here I have my put open. First thing that I need to do is looking as a root, otherwise they will not work. So I'll put sudo su and I will enter my password. Now I will need to do again sudo su, sudo su, but I will put this dot exactly for be able to run the application as a root. So I run it. Now it's in the root file. First thing we need to update and upgrade my system, so we use the following script. So we use sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade yes. So we run it. I think that this machine has not been updated for a long time, so it will take some minutes until they finish the upgrade. So let's wait it. Okay, once that the system has been updated, now we can install our script. So we're gonna run sh and we're gonna install cyberpanel and a cyberpanel installation and put enter. Now they give you an option. You want to install the cyber panel or you want to exit. So you put number one that I want to install and put enter. Now they advise that you need to have at least 10 gigabytes free and ask which option that you want to install. In our case, I want to install the free option. So we run cyber panel light speed option one and enter. Now they ask if you want to do the full installation. This full installation, you will install already the three programs, the power DNS, the post fix and the poor FTPD. So yes, I want to install everything. So we'll put yes and enter. Now they ask if you want to set up a remote MySQL. No, I don't want to set up any remote MySQL because I want to set up everything local on that machine. So we'll put no and enter. Now they ask if you want to install the MySQL local as a latest version or you want to use any other version. In my case, I want to install as a latest version. So we'll put enter. If you don't want to do it, so it's suggestible for you change. Now they ask you what password that you want to define. Only because I'm doing this installation only for myself, I will put as a default that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But they recommend you to change and set the password that you want or generate a random password. In my case, default it will be fine because as I told, I will delete this machine. So it's totally fine and put enter. Now they ask if you want to install this main cache process. Yes, I want to install it. So I put yes and enter. Now they ask if you want to install the Redis process for PHP. Yes, I want to install it. I will put yes again and enter. Now they ask if you want to install a watchdog. Be careful if you put yes, you need to put a capital yes. So yes, I want to install it and put yes and enter. Now they will start the installation, so you need to wait it. Normally this installation can take between five and 10 minutes, so wait until they finish. Once that appears the next page, we're gonna be back in the system and that uh, see what's the next step that we need to do in order to have this cyber panel working well as expect. So let's wait. So now if appear this page, it means that the installation has been completed. Before we start to work with this uh, cyber panel, you need to open some ports. The ports that you need to open will be the port 8, a port 443 for protocol TCP and UDP. If you want to use the FTP, you're going to need to open those ports. If you want to use an uh, email, you need to open those ports. And if you want to set up a DNS service, you need to open those ports. So if you want to have a full functionality for this cyber panel, you need to open all those ports. If you don't want to open the port 890, if you are local, you don't need to do it. But if you're using the Oracle Cloud or any kind of VPS, yes, you need to open as well this port. Other thing that is really important for you to remember, you need to come here and copy all this information. Because if you look here, you have uh, your passwords, your admin console password, your ring loop admin co console password. So all the information is here. So don't forget to copy it and save in a correctly place. Otherwise, you're not going to have access it anymore. Have this one in mind because I'm using a local system. I need to open the IP address for my machine plus the port 890. If you're using Oracle Cloud or any other, you need to go directly for your IP address and open the expected IP. 
before you do anything, you need to restart the system. So they ask, you'd like to restart the system? If you would, yes, we're gonna restart the system and we're gonna lose all this information. Now let's open the page that uh, we need to do. Once the machine restart, you can access uh, the port 890. Because I'm not use SL certification, they will ask uh, that uh, you are, this page is not safe, so we need to come here and proceed. So we're gonna look in as admin and we're gonna use exactly the same password that we set up before. In my case was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope that you change and use another one and now you already have this page for the cyber panel. In this way, you can create a new users, add a new website, new packaging, database, DNS, FTP, backups, email, SSL, and continue on. In this video, I will not show how you can set up your website or how you can create new users. Basically, we stop now. So as I told, in this video, I will not show how you can create your website or can you set up the base information for the cyber panel. If you guys are still interested and want that I post the second video, please let me know, I can do it. Also, if you guys want to install the Oracle Cloud and you have some problems, please let me know, then I can create the video or can uh, produce this video installing the Oracle Cloud and all the configuration. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.